Lizzie Bancroft Brabner has traveled the globe capturing the meaning of life on canvas. When, uh, when I started painting, I started out in watercolor and uh, I promised my mother that I would stick with watercolor uh, for several years and not change to any other medium until I uh, could um, understand what I was doing with watercolor. Because watercolor, they say, is a very difficult medium, but I find it intriguing and uh, it for my uh, personality and lifestyle, it's a, it's, you know, it's a more of a freeing type of painting for me. So I stayed with watercolor for many years, and uh, I have uh, tried to now branch out into oils and acrylics. And I enjoy very much painting in oil. This one was done in oil, and uh, I find that coming from a watercolorist to an oil painter, I'm trying to bring that loose feel that a watercolorist has into the oil. Well, I have been uh, uh, going on art trips. Uh, I found some of them very interesting in taking me places in the different countries that I would not normally go by myself and have been uh, involved with a group, which has uh, helped me to go into some countries that are uh, um, that are foreign uh, speaking, that I don't speak the language, which has helped me a lot. And I find that in these countries, I was fascinated by the color and the culture and all of that. And so I got very inspired to try to capture that on my um, canvases and um, try to get as much energy and color into those pieces as I possibly can. Um, in doing that, I hope that I capture the, the culture and the color of a particular country. And in my hopes of doing this, I hope to paint in as many countries as I possibly can, you know, for as long as I can. So I have uh, a lot of plans to go to other foreign countries and paint. This particular painting is in the vineyards of Burgundy. And uh, that is um, outside of Paris, uh, in the mountains of France. And um, in these valleys, all these vineyards, and most, most of the villages in France are, are the focal point is uh, the cathedrals and the churches. That's what the basic uh, little towns are built around because their religion is very much a part of their culture. And um, so I just found that, that to be quite interesting, that you have these big cathedrals in the middle of what seems like nowhere, and around it is a small village. This particular painting uh, was painted in the Tuileries. And on any day of the week, you can go uh, in the park there, and you will see these... Um, they're called boat vendors or whatever, and they're these tiny little sailboats that you can rent, and you can sail them on this little pond in front of the, the castle there, and uh, all the people sit around and watch the little boats sail. It's, it's, it's a favorite pastime for the, uh, the children in Paris to go do with their, their families, and it, it was just, um, I thought it was a beautiful place to be for, for children and adults, and you get such a good feeling there. People sit there and read and relax and uh, have a good time. Well, um, with the women of Guatemala, what I uh, try to portray is that um, the lifestyle of a Guatemalan or a Mayan woman in the fact that uh, their costumes are what they wear basically on a daily basis. These are not uh, festive costumes that they wear on occasion. They truly dress like this, and the colors are red and blue and bright primary colors. And how hard they work every day. And they are such a sweet, happy people, and yet the chores that they do on a daily basis 
in this country we would find so demanding and the fact that they have to go out and chop the firewood before they can bring it back to, you know, cook. And then they have to gather the corn and shuck the corn before they can make the tortillas. And just the daily lifestyle of a woman in Guatemala is quite different from ours and quite, uh, it's, it's much harder. We, we get upset when we have to go to the store and get a loaf of bread. Well, just think how long it takes them to get to making their bread. So, um, you know, and uh, they're just such gentle people. And they, they make their own clothes and um, like the costumes that they wear, uh, the blouses, all the hoopalas that they wear, they, they weave themselves, they dye the threads. And, um, you know, they're just a hardworking, beautiful people. Well, I guess I call myself a visual entertainer. I'm hoping that through my paintings that uh, uh, I would like to represent what the feeling that I felt, hopefully, if I paint it, and I paint it well enough, that you may feel some of that same feeling, whether it's a, a Guatemalan market or a, or a French countryside or, you know, something like that. Definitely, uh, when you meet an artist, it doesn't matter what part of the world they're from, you have a, an instant connection and uh, you, you always have a multitude of things to talk about because you're all basically interested in, in doing the same thing. It doesn't matter which country you're from. So that is one reason I like meeting other artists from other countries. Next on Art Is, you will meet two up-and-coming artists that have a bright future ahead of them.